Hello friends, welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial from Slide Helper. In this video, we are going to create this beautiful parallax animation effect in PowerPoint. So let's start the tutorial. First, we need to insert few custom shapes. We go to insert on the shapes, select rectangle tool and we drag and draw a rectangle like this. Then we are going to remove our shape outline. Now right click, then select edit points. Now we click on this anchor point and drag it towards left side. So we are changing our shape like this. Now I am going to make a copy of this shape. You can just copy and paste or you can hit Ctrl D so you can make a duplicate. Now format and flip horizontal. Move it like this. Now I am going to select our first shape and add animation. Go to animations, click more motion path and choose left. Now we change animation settings, we start with previous and I am going to change duration to 3 seconds. And we need to make a few adjustments in this animation. Select this red bubble and drag it toward the center of the slide. Let's keep it here. Now I am going to apply the same animation to our second shape. This time I am going to select right and hit OK. And again I am going to change animation settings with previous and 3 seconds duration. And again I am going to change make adjustment in the other animation ends. Okay. Just a little bit. Okay. Let's see what we have got. Okay. So we have animated our first two shapes. Now I am going to insert another shape. Go to insert under shapes, select rectangle. Then I am going to remove shape outline. For this shape, I am going to change shape fill color. So it is easy for us to manage our shapes. And again hit edit shape and I am going to drag that anchor point toward the left side. And change the shape like this. Okay. Now I am going to make a copy of this one. You can simply copy and paste or just hit Ctrl D, format, rotate and flip horizontal and position it like this. Now we are going to animate these orange shapes. Go to animations, add animation, more motion path and I am going to select left. Okay. Again I am going to change animation settings start with previous and the 3 seconds delay and I'm going to make an adjustment in animation endpoint okay let's keep it like this okay now we are going to animate this one select add animation move motion path select right and okay Start with previous 3 seconds duration and I'm going to adjust animation endpoint. Now we have completed animating 
four shapes. Now I'm going to insert another shape, select triangle, just drag and draw a triangle like this. Remove shape outline and this time I'm going to fill this triangle with yellow color so it is easy for us to manage. Select this one. And I'm going to make a copy go to format rotate flip horizontal now we are going to animate these yellow triangles motion path left going to drag this endpoint here okay. I'm going to add the same animation and this time just selecting right and ok Okay, now we have completed animating six shapes. So this is how it looks now. And I'm going to add another shape. Go to shapes and again select rectangle. format remove shape outline change fill color green okay and right click select edit point and this time I'm going to drag this and point like this we need another shape but I'm going to animate this one before we are going to add another so go to animations and add animation more motion path and select down okay start with previous three seconds and I'm going to adjust animation endpoint move it up okay now I'm going to make a copy just copy and paste okay go to format let me change its fill color so it is easy for us to see and I'm going to now rotate this rotate flip horizontal and move it like this okay we don't need to animate this one because we have already animated the original we just made a copy of that one now I'm going to select all the shapes just press ctrl a and go to format under shape effects shadow and select shadow options this will open our format shapes window and under shadow effect I'm going to select this preset okay we are going to change shadow size 100% and I'm going to increase blur about 50, 60. There's no hard and fast rules, you can just play around with these settings. Again, I'm going to select all the shapes, press Ctrl A, and we are going to change shape fill. This is where the magic happens. You just select slight background fill, okay. Now you can see all the shapes are filled with white color which is same as our slide background. Now we are going to change our slide background. Right click outside the slide and select format background 
and then we select picture or text field select file and select a nice background from your computer now you can see all our shapes have the same image field similar to our slide background let's see everything in slideshow mode beautiful now you can see our animation is completed so let me add some text here okay i have added some text and we are going to send these text boxes to back right click and send to back and i'm going to add a simple animation here our text boxes animations and i'm going to add fly in animation and change effect options from top now we select both animations and i'm going to change text animation duration we start with previous and go to effect options and i'm going to make few changes in effect options they are changing a smooth start and a smooth end options let's see now okay beautiful and now let's add some delay in, in between these animations just so what we are doing here is we don't want all the shapes to start moving at the same time we need to add some delay in between these movements now let's see okay beautiful you can see that all the parts are not moving at the same time so it looks more beautiful than the original okay now let's take this into the next level i'm going to select all the animations you press ctrl key and click each animation so that we can select multiple animations and we click this arrowhead and then select effect options and then i'm going to select auto reverse options and under timing change repeat until end of the slide okay we are done let's see our final product beautiful now we have a loop in animation everything looks so fluid very beautiful okay let me show you again how to change your slide background I'm going to make a copy of this one right click outside the slide then select format background I'm going to select a different picture this time picture file let's select this one Okay friends, this is the end of our tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions, please comment below and please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Have a nice day.